is the type of a creature the debtor will be promising the creditor a part of the horse and part of the mouse. Oh, could you imagine that? Now, can the debtor compel the creditor to accept this type of a creature? Answer, no, because it will be contrary to the second paragraph of 1199. So, this is in accordance also with the principle enunciated in 1248. Look at it. Take note. Oh, what does 1248? 1248 is the provision that declares the presumption regarding indivisibility of obligation. So, we will discuss this in relation to divisible and indivisible. So, it is provided for 1248. Unless there is an express stipulation to that effect, the creditor cannot be compelled partially to receive the prestation in which the obligation consists. Neither can the debtor be required to make partial payments. So, that is in accordance with the presumption of indivisibility, principle of indivisibility. So, that is the first. The debtor cannot choose a part of one and a part of another prestation. It would always have to observe the integrity of the prestation. All right. Number two, obviously, you will see it in Article, okay, Article 1200, okay, where the debtor also will not be allowed to what you call now deliver prestations that are unlawful. Oh. So assuming that in the uh, original uh, example I gave to deliver the dog, the cat, a horse, mouse. And aside from that, he is also uh, to deliver, could deliver Shabu. 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 Obviously, that would be unlawful. That cannot be the choice of the debtor. Number three. All right. He cannot also choose and compel the creditor to leave, deliver those prestations that could not have been the object of the obligation. Now, what do we understand by uh, prestations or objects or prestations that could not have been the object of the obligation? There are through three instances here, or three, uh, uh, three ways by which a thing is considered not to be the object of the obligation or a prestation which is not the object of the obligation. So, I repeat, the third is could not have been the object of the obligation. So, what are this? Okay, they are the following. Number one, undertakings that are not included among others from those which the obligor may select. I think you will find this in my second uh, PowerPoint presentation. The slide, uh, I think it's slide 152, 152, the enumeration. So anyway, undertakings that are not included among others from those which the obligor may select. So obviously, so if the, the prestations are merely to give a horse, to give a dog, to give a cat, to give a mouse. Now, to give a goose is not among them. So obviously, the debtor cannot choose to give the goose. This is obvious, obviously. All right. Two, those which are not yet due and demandable at the time of the selection, the selection is made. All right. Now, 
Here, it is contemplating that the several prestations are subject to conditions and or what you call periods. So if, for example, you have four prestations to give the dog, the horse, the cat, and the mouse, but, you know, enforceability for each now uh, would be subject to different conditions and or terms. Say, the obligation to give the horse only on December 25, 2020, to give the dog when you get married, the, the, the creditor gets married, oh. the, the cat on, on May 15, and then the mouse on June 30, 2020. So here you will see that this, these obligations, these prestations are subject to different conditions and uh, condition and term. So on June 30, you will note that from among the four, there can be only be two that may be chosen. Uh, uh, let, let's make it clear again. Okay, so showing they are subject to different terms. Na lang, para mas mali So to give the dog when it is on March 30. To give the cat on April 15 to give the horse on April 30 and then to give the mouse on May 15 so uh, March 30 April 15 April 30 May 15 so on April 30, okay, obviously, the choice of the debtor would be limited only to those that are already due and demandable. Uh, those to which the creditor may already insist on fulfillment. So this will therefore be limited only to the delivery of the dog, the, the horse, and the, the cat but not the mouse. Why? The mouse, the prestation to give the mouse becomes demandable only on May 15. Ay, naku. So, hindi niya pwedeng piliin yon. Gets nyo? Obvious naman, di ba? Okay. And the last one, those by reason of accident or some other cause have acquired a new character distinct or different from that contemplated by the parties when the obligation was constituted. Umiba yung uh, nature itself, yung constitution itself, nung thing of the prestation, umiba. O yung prestation naging iba talaga. So, for example, uh, you promise the beautiful princess a frog. And then she kissed the frog. It became a prince. So, umiba na. Naging prinsipi na. <laughs> you get the point? Ay, siguro naman sa explanatory na yan. Okay, so, uh, this would be the instances referred to by the law where a prestation which could not have been the object of the obligation. So, the debtor cannot choose any of these types of prestations. Okay, so, number four. Those that are due and demandable, but whose enforcement is dependent on creditor as when period fixed is solely for the benefit of the creditor. So, this will need to make you remember Article 1196. You remember what Article 1196 says? It tells you that a period is fixed for the benefit of both the parties, except if there may be an implied or express agreement to fix it for the benefit of just one. Now, number four 
as an exception to the rule in regard, or not exceptions, I'm sorry, limitation to the right of the debtor to make a choice. The debtor obviously cannot choose, okay, a prestation which although considering his position as debtor may already be considered as due and demandable, but not yet in so far as the creditor is concerned. Ay, confusing. Alabu, alabu na naman. Example na, example. Okay. So, one of the prestations to give the dog, the cat, the horse, and the mouse, say, to give the horse, is subject to a suspensive term, which solely was constituted for the benefit of the creditor. So, to deliver the horse on May 15, okay, 15, oh. at the option of the creditor. So, ibig sabihin dito, the debtor cannot insist on the delivery of the horse before May 15, but the creditor may already ask if he would opt to fulfillment by the delivery of the horse even before May 15. So you get the point? You get the point? So in effect, in so far as the debtor is concerned, to deliver the horse is already due and demandable. Yet, he cannot deliver it yet because the term fixed was for the benefit of the creditor. So, ano lang ang mapipili niya, therefore, from among the four prestations before May 15? Eh, yung delivery lang ng dog, cat, and mouse. Oh, malinaw. Ay, malinaw naman na. And the last one, number five, the creditor, creditor cannot be compelled to receive part of one in part of the and the iyon na pala tapos na pala yun so i'm sorry i'm sorry ha dito kasi sa enumeration ginawang last yun eh yun ang una nating diniskas you get the point ha so there are only four limitations so please remember again when i am asking what would be the exceptions to the rule relative to the right of choice in an alternative okay so the rule of the, the 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 rule stating that it is the debtor exception when it is expressly granted to the creditor or agreement expressly granted to the third person okay but when i ask you limitations to the right of the debtor to make the choice so you enumerate the four one those that are impossible when you talk of impossibility here physical impossibility so yung hindi mo pwedeng uh hyper fulfill talaga let's say i will deliver to you the dog the cat the mouse the the horse and tal volcano Sige nga, i-deliver mo nga ang Taal Volcano. That's impossible. Two, unlawful. So, deliver to your dog, a cat, a mouse, a, do, uh, a horse, or shabu. Oh, kaya choose the shabu. And then, three, could not have been the object of the obligations. Undertakings, that never was contemplated by the parties to be part of the object of the obligation, right? Number two, those which are not yet due and demandable. Number three, those by reason of accident or some other cause have acquired a new character distinct or different from that contemplated <coughs> by the parties when the obligation was constituted. So that's the third. All right, number four, those that are due and demandable but whose enforcement is dependent on creditor okay, 
as when the period fixed is solely for his benefit. And number five, yun na nga wala. So, lima, kasi iniwala yung unlawful saka yung impossible. Na gets nyo? Kuha nyo naman eh. Anyway, and dun yun sa sa PowerPoint, yung second uh, type of PowerPoint. Kaya lang, hindi pala ito nakasama. No, it all started na sa penal clause. But anyway, so, lima, lang, lima talaga yan. Lima. So, hindi ko na na-discuss kanila yung impossible prestations. And the fifth one, uh, indivisibility. So, the, the creditor cannot be compelled to accept a part of one and a part of another. So, the debtor cannot choose a part only of one prestation and a part of another. Is it clear? Ha? Huh? Medyo... Uh, pero okay naman. Ha? Huh? Okay. So, relax muna. We will continue.